We're tracking Alberto. Yeah, this is the first named tropical weather system of the season, which technically has not started yet, right? <laughs> June 1st, right. But well, we're yeah. watching. We're yeah. just on the cusp. We've had hurricanes in just about, and tropical systems in just about every month. Mm -hmm. uh, May's not that uncommon to get them, so this isn't that surprising. Mm -hmm. And where it formed, mm -hmm. which is the Western Caribbean, into the Southern Gulf of Mexico right. later tonight, that's where we tend to look All this time water down. Yeah, that's exactly why. Okay. Let me show you what's going on, guys. Again, this is not a major issue for us, but we will have some problems, and I'll show you that first. All right, 5 p.m. update, 40 mile per hour winds, the center itself is actually moving to the east about two miles per hour. The center's here. It's not here where all that is. And I'll, I'll talk about that coming up as well, too. Uh, pressure's down to about 1,005 millibars. That's relatively high. Here's the latest forecast track from the Hurricane Center. This is the part where some of you may be like, whoa, let's get a little close. It looks like it's going to stay with the highest winds offshore from us. Although, you see the forecast does take it up to about 65 mile per hour winds by Sunday afternoon. So that's a formidable tropical storm there, and then making a landfall somewhere east of New Orleans. It looks like up towards Mobile, perhaps, but anywhere in that cone the center could go. So we're still going to have to watch that. Far as watches and warnings go, right now Cozumel, Cancun, under a tropical storm watch, the western tip of Cuba as well. And as of the 5 p.m. update, now parts of the United States have a tropical storm watch from basically uh, Indian River Inlet all the way back out towards almost to Lake Pontchartrain. In fact, it does include that. There is a little bit of a storm surge watching here as well, too. I'll show you that coming up here in just a little bit. That looks to be the main area that will be dealing with tropical storm force winds and, and what you would expect with a system coming in. There's the forecast models. You see them all curving back up to the north and the west. This is a subtropical storm. The winds are highest outside of the center. The center is exposed, and I'm gonna show you that as well, too. You can see, look, at that's the center. Those are all the big thunderstorms and all the rain. In fact, some of the highest winds out there as well, too. We do expect that as this drifts off towards the north, that we'll start to see more thunderstorms around the center as it comes up into the Gulf of Mexico. But all of this, guys, that is what's headed in our direction. That's why we've got some issues here. Recon's out there right now. You can see them flying out of Keesler Air Force Base in Mississippi, and they're getting lots of data for us, so we'll get that data into the weather models, and that will help us start to get a little bit better idea of where it's going to go. I'm going to go over all of this in about 15 minutes. I'm going to make my producers mad and spend a lot of time to walk you through this. So stay tuned. We're going to keep you updated. All right, Bobby, thank you. Manatee County has already issued a local state of emergency, so people there...